Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well, and in this video, we are going to be discussing the runtime for Ahsoka Episode 5. We're gonna go ahead and hop right on into it. In this video, we are going to be taking a read from Inverse.com. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. As a read, Dave Filoni has always been the mastermind of Ahsoka Tano's life, being the creator of the character. He's been behind all of her biggest moments, since her debut 15 years ago, and that didn't stop when she moved into live action. After directing her appearance in The Mandalorian Season 2 with the episode titled The Jedi, Dave Filoni is writing every episode of the Ahsoka Disney Plus show and directing two of those episodes, and now with a runtime may have leaked for Episode 5 and revealing the arrival of a crucial character in Episode 5 as well that we'll be discussing a little bit more throughout and in this video here as well which would and probably is going to be a huge moment for the Ahsoka character and her creator Dave Filoni. Recently, leaker Cryptic 4 k Qual over on Twitter, or now known as X, you can also find me over there as well, who has accurately predicted the runtimes of Ahsoka and The Mandalorian Season 3, claims that Ahsoka Episode 5 will clock in at 49 minutes and 50 seconds, making it the second longest episode of Ahsoka and one of the very most longest episodes of just Star Wars television that we've seen so far. This is an unusual approach though, however, for the leaker who had predicted the runtimes for episodes 1 and 2 and 3, but had skipped over episode 4 and gone straight to episode 5. Maybe that just reflects that information is available. It's another piece of evidence that suggests that episode 5 will be a crucial episode at that, if for anything. Now, we did know the runtime of episode episode 4 and that was actually not only correct and like uh, on point of how long it was supposed to be, it was also confirmed by the director for that episode, Peter Ramsey, having retweeted or resharing a post over on X of somebody that had reported on its runtime, just straight up went ahead and retweeted it and confirmed it. And that definitely isn't to say that episode 4 wasn't a crucial episode at the very least, of course. I mean, that ending, everything we saw throughout the episode, the lightsaber battle, the fights, everything with that episode was quite crucial. I do find it though, however, a bit strange that the leaker didn't take on a report for episode 4 though, however. Maybe it's because other people had already reported on it. And at that, quite personally, I'm not necessarily sure on where these people are able to obtain this information. All I know that it is rather uh, actually accurate. But this year all being said, why do we care about the runtime of these episodes? And I'll often see this question kind of posed by some of you guys in the comments or even like people complaining about the runtime just because the runtime may be shorter or may be longer doesn't mean that it's going to be a good or a bad episode thinking back to the mandalorian season three of where we had a nearly hour long episode but it was completely centered around dr pershing and really evidently nothing ever came of it or happened later down the road in the season i definitely feel that's a prime example for runtimes and them just not necessarily being all that important necessarily so to kind of come back around to that question as of to why we care about the runtime of the Ahsoka show and for episode 5 it is able to give us a little bit of an insight on for what we may be able to expect and anticipate for the overall episode. Which as I had mentioned earlier on at the beginning of this video is that there may be a major big reveal in this episode. Now I don't know if I'll have time to make a whole nother video discussing and talking about that big reveal so I'll go ahead and tell you guys a little bit of a snippet here in this video but I would love to talk about it in more detail and in more depth here on the channel. Of course, I will have a full preview video here on the channel as well for Ahsoka Episode 5 into the regards of all of the different plot points that we may know about the upcoming episode, as well as a number of a lot of different theories, actually, for what we may be able to see and anticipate for the upcoming episode. But that big major reveal very well may be Ezra or and Thrawn for Episode 5. So when looking over the list of directors for Ahsoka, and this isn't just coming from the runtime necessarily of the episode. It's notable that Dave Filoni isn't helming the finale of the overall show, unfortunately. Instead of bookending the show, he tackled episode 1 and episode 5. That combined with episode 5's more longer runtime implies it will be a pivotal installment for the overall show, and I have already been kind of banking on this idea of that we will finally see Ezra or and Thrawn in episode 5, especially as we saw at the end of 
episode four, Morgan Elsbeth and her co, uh, Balin Skull and his apprentice, Shen Hati, alongside with Sabine, also kind of being held captive there as well, finally take off in their hyperdrive. Now, we don't know necessarily how long that hyperdrive ride is going to take because they are traveling to a whole nother galaxy, something that we've never seen in the Star Wars universe until now. This very well could be the episode, though, however, of where Ahsoka, or maybe just Sabine, is able to finally encounter Ezra and or Thrawn, both characters Filoni oversaw in Star Wars Rebels, having been the creator of Ezra Bridger, but not necessarily the creator of Thrawn. That creator of Thrawn, of course, is Timothy Zahn, who had wrote the novels in the late 90s, a part of the expanded universe. Although, I believe that Filoni and Thrawn still have some type of special connection similar to Ezra or similar to Ahsoka, as he did kind of revive the character, bringing the character back into canon with Star Wars Rebels, bringing him to animation into like the small screen, and now doing it once more for the Ahsoka show, not just that, but also in live action. Disney Plus shows certainly love a big Episode 5 reveal as well. Now taking a look outside of the box of the Star Wars realm, Episode 5 of WandaVision from Marvel Studios, if you are a Marvel fan, I have my Marvel channel linked in the description down below, introduced Evan Peters as Pietro or Quicksilver, and thinking back to Episode 5 of Loki Season 1, gave us variants of Loki's. Episode 5 of the Hawkeye show finally brought Kingpin into the MCU, and now thinking within the box of Star Wars, Episode 5 of the Book of Boba Fett was secretly a Mandalorian episode in disguise. Even though Dave Filoni got it on the trend, directing Episode 5 of The Mandalorian Season 2, of where Ahsoka made her live-action debut as well, thinking back to that episode titled The Jedi. A Thrawn and Ezra appearance in Episode 5 would be a perfect thing for the show's pace. It allows enough build-up to show how important these characters are to the fans, both Thrawn and Ezra, who haven't been or haven't seen since Star Wars Rebels, but also leaves enough episodes afterward to give them a significant screen time at that. Ezra and Thrawn's return has been anticipated for years at this point, and the reveal needs to be quite a space to breath. And so, with Ahsoka set to run for eight episodes, that would leave three episodes for Ahsoka, Ezra, Sabine, and Hera to face off against Morgan Elsbeth, Balin Skull, Shin Hati, and their devious leader, Thrawn. There's a lot of characters that they have to fit into the mixture, and they better get going with it, introducing Thrawn and Ezra in episode 5 here, that is going to have a prominent runtime, as I had mentioned, of 49 minutes long. When you cut out the credits of the episode and the beginning of the recap of the episode, is closer to around 46 minutes long. And overall, it's just kind of average, I feel like, comparing it to like every other live-action Star Wars show. But this real being said, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Of course, as I had also mentioned earlier on in this video, I will have a full, more in-depth, detailed video here on the channel into the regards of our preview video for Ahsoka Episode 5, discussing and talking about all the different plot points that we know about the upcoming episode, as well as a lot of different fan theories as well. Guys, let me know all of your thoughts and opinions and theories in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been Unofficial Star Wars. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.